Yo my people them, CFC, Redis Blue, back with another video and it's match day, match day, Chelsea take on Panathinaikos in our second group phase game in the conference league. You guys, let me know your score predictions down below. The watch along will be happening at about quarter to five, so stay tuned for that and yeah, let me know your score predictions in the comments. As you already know, I'm going to go through some injuries slash team news. What Mareska said during his press conference. Predicted exercise. Where's my score prediction? So I hope you guys enjoy the video. And yeah, man, help me get at least 1,000 views on this. But yeah, now let's get into it. I'm going to start off with some team news. And this is the team that traveled to take on Panathinaikos. So goalkeepers are Robert Sanchez, Philip Jorgensen, Lucas Bergstrom, Defenders, Tosin Adarabayo, Benoit Badiashil, Mark Kukureo, Axel De Sassi, Renato Vega. Midfielders, Enzo Fernandez, Kenan Drewsby Hall, Cesare Cassade, Khan Shaqui Mecca, as well as Samuel Raksaki. I um, hope I said that right. Forwards, Noni Madweki, Mikhailo Mudrik, Pedro Neto, Joao Felix, Christopher Nkunku, Jaden Sancho, Tari George, Mark Gu. And Shamira Mehekyo. I hope I've said that right. My bad if I didn't. But that is the team that will be traveling. Philip Jorgensen did have an injury. I done a video earlier in the week, but he is ready to play. That's what Oreska had to say during his press conference as well. So, hey man, everyone's fit. And these are the players that will be taking part in the game. These are the players that won't be traveling to. Um, the game, Reese James, Romeo Lavio, Moises Caicedo, um, Ben Showell, um, Marcus Bettinelli, as well as Nicholas Jackson, Moises Caicedo, like where's a lot of Malo Gusto, a lot of players have stayed at Cobham, some of them due to the fact that they've just been left out of the squad um, by Maresco's choice, and also because they haven't been submitted for the match day. I mean, the league phase. So that's like Cole Palmer as well, Romeo Lavia. So, yeah, man. A lot of changes are going to be made, but this is expected. This is now like, what, our fourth cup slash league game. I mean, European game or cup game. It's going to be wholesale changes. And today, it's going to be about can Mudrick or Joao Felix take their opportunities. We are going away from home. Last time we went away from home in the Conference League, we lost to Savet. This cannot be a loss today. These men need to take their opportunities and you cannot afford to be dropping points because this is a competition that we have to win. Have to win. Can't take any chances and there's nothing that can sugarcoat this. Not getting to a final losing. Nope. This is the whole competition. We have to win it. This is what Chelsea do. We've won every single other competition in Europe. This is the only one we haven't and it's the first time being in it. Let's win it, man. But yeah, that's just um the team news. And now I'm going to go over some things that Mariska had to say in terms of Joao Felix and Mikhailo Mudrik. And he had this to say on both of them. The thing is, in this moment, there are more players doing well. When they get the chance, they need to take it. They have to. And today's a great opportunity. Both of these guys I'm expecting to start in this game against Panathinaikos. It's a conference league game, not a Premier League level. It is away from home, so it does have its own... Um, its own important stuff in there in terms of European experience going away from home to a Greek side it's not going to be an easy game but this is a game that we should be winning and I expect us to do that Mudrik, Drow Felix if you guys really want to be in the starting 11s going in the future then you're going to have to turn up in these games you're going to have to get goals get an assist and both of them both of them would hope to do so Joao Felix was in the interview today with Enzo Maresco and he even had this to say in terms of like um, 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 game time and he said I knew the competition would be hard I spoke to Maresco before I came and and I'm, bef and I'm but I'm here to work hard and I'm sure that he, my time will come that's basically some, the things that he said during his press conference and I hope that it does it's not going to be easy. Jaden Sancho is ahead of Modric. Cole Palmer is ahead of Joao Felix. It's not going to be easy. And right now, it's looking unlikely that you can be the guys 
to be able to um, play week in week out if these guys can't even pardon me if these guys can't even play but that's why you need to take opportunities the best players will play and I hope that you guys can show your worth because this is a big squad a very big squad so whether or not you guys um, do well now you have a good amount of time just make sure to use it wisely and take it because at the end of the season people will be getting caught and it's up to you to make sure that you don't get caught so yeah man that's just some things that Maresk had to say and Joao Felix had to say in the press conference and just my some thoughts and opinions match facts to go into this game Chelsea have Chelsea have an unbeaten record against Greek teams recording four wins in six games we've won four drawn twice against Greek sides more time we've played them in the Champions League or Europa League now it's Conference League make sure to be undefeated we cannot be losing to Panathinaikos I'm not Fair enough, it's away from home, but it's not an excuse. We are Chelsea. Do the job and we better win. So, yeah, man, that's just some match facts. Now I'm going to go into my predicted XI for this game. And my predicted XI goes like this. Philip Jorgensen in goal. Right back, going to go with Axel de Sassi. Centre-backs, Tosin Adarabayo, as well as Benoit Badi Show. Left back, Renato Vega, CDMs, Enzo Fernandez, as well as Kenan Drewsby Hall. Left mid, Mikhailo Mudrik. Right mid, Pedro Neto, Cam, Joao Felix, striker, Christopher Nkunku. This is my predicted XI, and this back line scares me. I'm not going to cap. The back line scares me, man, because you guys need to do well. Renato Vega has been doing well, but... Tossin, Benoit, Axel, you guys have shown your different frailties and I just hope that we can try keep a clean sheet because we've only been able to keep two clean sheets this whole entire season and we've played at least 11 games. That's not good enough. You guys need to step up and especially because you are in the Conference League team, this is not the Premier League team and even our Premier League team's defence needs to improve. But everyone has to improve. Keep just everyone on their toes. If you guys do well today, that means the Premier League team has to do well on the weekend. Literally. So for me, please keep a clean sheet. Be calm with the ball. Don't make any rash decisions. And just get the W. Because this is the most important thing. And speaking of the W, I'm going to go with... Um, a Chelsea 3-1 score prediction that's my score prediction for the game and I feel confident as I should be and as every Chelsea fan should be for these Conference League games because we are Chelsea Conference League come on man we should be winning this there's no excuses and we better win so that's just my thoughts and opinions that is the match preview make sure to check out the watch along Drop your score predictions down below. The wins will get a shout out in the match review. And thank you to everyone for your support throughout the week so far. Help me get as many likes, as many views, as many comments as possible. And I hope that you all enjoy your Thursday in a bit, my people. Them. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok and Facebook for more Chelsea content. I'll catch you guys later on today in a bit. Peace. Come on, Chelsea. Come on,